the leader in HD. This is 12 News Today. Well, deaths on U.S. highways have dropped to a record low during the first six months of 2009. Fatalities have been dropping steadily since 05. Deaths on U.S. highways have dropped to a record low during the first six months of this year, continuing a recent trend of fewer people dying on roads. Experts suggest fewer deaths each year are the result of a few reasons. Side airbags are now standard equipment on nearly 65 percent of new vehicles. Also, seatbelt use has climbed to 84 percent. That is great news. We all want to keep our family safe. One way to do just that is just to click away. Yeah, seatbelts really do save lives, but do you know if you're using your seatbelt correctly? 12 News Today's Brandon Klein is live in Phoenix to show you how you can be sure. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Rick and Trem. You know, it seems simple enough, but DPS says too many of us just don't wear our seatbelts. So we have a little help this morning from DPS Sergeant Jimmy Chavez, also president of the Highway Patrol Association. Good morning. Good morning. You have click it or ticket this month. You find that's uh, an effective way to get people to wear their seatbelts? It's one of the effective ways that uh, we've been able to get the message across to people. Not just uh, wearing your seatbelt, but also wearing it properly. You seem to have a lot of folks who don't. Can you kind of show us what you're talking about? Here? Exactly. If we want to pan over here to our uh, model here, uh, she's illustrating how to wear the seatbelt properly. It's supposed to fit over the, the lap and the shoulder, um, as you can see in the, uh, uh, in the photo there. Um, we do have some situations where people, for whatever reason, uh, they feel maybe it's uncomfortable against their shoulder, they'll tuck it underneath like that, or even put it completely behind their back. And in those instances, uh, the seat belt's not going to function properly. It's not going to keep the upper body from moving forward in a collision and striking um, the head, striking the windshield and or the steering wheel, and it just uh, exacerbates the problem. And that's pretty common. You see that quite a bit. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. You have um, some misconceptions also. Some folks uh, don't want to wear their seatbelt because they think it could trap them in case of some kind of emergency. That is correct. Uh, a lot of people, again, fearful that, uh, you know, if I'm in a wreck and I'm wearing my seatbelt, I'm going to get trapped. I'm not going to be able to get out. Uh, again, that is one of the biggest misconceptions and uh, a, a fallacy uh, for sure. Um, obviously, seatbelts are proven to save lives and reduce injuries, and that's the message we want to continue with. Another misconception, if I have an airbag, I don't need to wear my seatbelt. Uh, that is not true at all. <laughs> you need both. Um, the, uh, the airbag is an additional tool, um, but the seatbelt is what's going to keep you in the seat uh, during a collision. Talk to us about child seats, where they need to go. They need to go in the back seat. Uh, all the time. Um, the, uh, that's the safest place for a child seat. Obviously with the uh, infiltration of airbags throughout the front passenger compartment, uh, you don't want a child seat that's going to be in the path of an airbag. That's going to cause a problem. Uh, so the back seat is the safest place for that, uh, that child seat. And you won't just take it for not having a seat belt, you also take it for that child seat not properly installed? That is correct. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, the child seat alone We'll do, the, we'll do the job, but if it's not strapped in, it's nothing but a projectile ready to go uh, in a collision. Okay, thanks very much. Click it or ticket program is all month, but obviously DPS would like you to wear it all year round. Live in Phoenix, Brandon Klein, 12 News Today.